so the latest Outriders patch is now available on your platform and today I bring you all the patch notes. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. Okay so today's patch being the 15th of July adds in and improves a few things regarding the game and today we go through it all so let's go guys let's go. Patch notes improved and faster xbox signing process please let us know if your experience signing on xbox has improved by the amount of times they have fixed this guys there should be no signing in it should be instant i'm yet to test this myself so please let me know down below how it is for you on xbox here improved matchmaking to reduce the chance of matching with an afk player players that are afk not interacting with the game for more than two minutes will be automatically removed from the matchmaking queue i think this is actually a good addition i'm not gonna lie interacting with npcs or configuring skills mods or builds is not considered afk behavior though being inactive for two minutes plus while being in menus or dialogue options is improve the visibility of broodmother surge area of effect attack blue flames fixed a bug whereby scrap grenade would start working after a cinematic or when rejoining a session i'm not gonna lie this has been a bug that's been in since the start of the game i'm glad to see it fixed but man really it's taken a while resolved an issue with the technomancer's borealis set and changed its description to match its new behavior the new description is increased damage on frozen enemies by 90 percent also critical hit damage is increased by 10 percent for all party members for eight seconds after cold snap usage the old description you can see on screen now important while we have resolved one problematic aspect of this set we very recently discovered a second underlying issue that can still cause the full 90 percent set bonus to start working when in combat unequipping and re-equipping the set can help temporarily resolve this we apologize for the confusion and are already working on a resolution to the second issue I mean, me personally, we've had a lot of these instances where unequipping and re-equipping armor or weapons fixes them. The problem is you spend most of your time doing this. Personally, I ain't a Technomancer man, this don't bother me that much, but I know it will bother quite a few people out there. Okay, so fix the bug that will cause the Trickster's Hunt the Prey to get stuck on activating. Fix the bug whereby bleed status from the armor mod, Bloody Crush, would not be inflicted on enemies hit with the Gravity Leap skill. Fix the bug whereby the Devastator's Blood Donation class node wouldn't work if the player didn't have other active skill life leech nodes or mods. Clarify the description for the Levinous Locust mod. Fix a bug whereby dismantling an item mightn't have displayed the mod preview. Fix an issue that could cause the in sync accolade to not properly unlock for client players. Fix an issue that could cause players to not get the proper reward if they completed an expedition during the final second of their reward tier. Of a bug and crash fixes. This patch will also include the below tweak, which can be considered a small rebalance. Please note that this is just a small tweak that required cold work and was already ready to be rolled into this patch. Our next patch after this one is intended to have more buffs for all classes. That is actually the patch I thought this one was going to be guys, I'm not going to lie. I mean they spoke about this patch which is going to buff many aspects of the classes quite a while back and we've been waiting quite a while now. So yeah, I thought this was going to be that. It looks to be the next patch is going to be the patch which buffs many aspects of their classes. So we will see. Okay, so rebalance. Change the Pyromancer's healthy lifestyle mod and change its description to match its new behavior. This change should improve survivability while channeling this skill. New description is Phaser Beam boosts your health regeneration X for the skill duration. The old description you can see on the screen now. Now the new do showcase uh, currently tracked issues, which if you guys do want to see, you'll see them on screen now. But I mean, these are many, many issues that have been here for quite a while now, and we all know about them, so there's no point me reading through them. Interesting to see that Xbox related signing problems is still there, so that obviously isn't fully 100% fixed right now. But yeah, all in all, I'm not going to lie, kind of a disappointment patch i mean not through what it does and what it fixes but more so i expected it to be the one that buffs many aspects of our classes so hopefully we get that one next week but we will see guys so yes another outriders patch 15th of july 2021 pcf on the road to making a game the game it should have been on release 
Well, let's not lie to ourselves, guys. They can basically fix the game. They can make the game run perfectly smooth, but the game needs content. There's no two which ways about it. The game needs new content or new changes, which change up the way we play the game. That's what this game needs, it really does. But yes, I love you and leave you guys, and the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.